Ohm's law explains the relationship in a circuit between the voltage, the current that flows through the circuit in amps, and the resistance of the circuit in ohms. So this is a one and a half volt AA battery, and this provides the push in the circuit. A higher voltage would provide more push. So this battery is a source of electrons. At the moment, none can flow. This is because it's not connected to a circuit, and in effect, the resistance is infinite. So even though the electrons want to flow out of the battery, they can't. If we then connect a wire from the positive end back to the negative end of the battery, electrons would flow, and the rate of flow in amps would be dependent upon the resistance in that wire or circuit that we have connected. And this is the relationship of Ohm's law. So if we know any two of the three, we can use some simple algebra to rearrange the formula to make the other or the third item the subject. So I've done that here, where I've made the current the subject, and I've rearranged it again here to make the resistance the subject. But you don't have to remember this algebra. We can use a simple triangle or pyramid instead. So we've got the voltage at the top and the current and the resistance at the bottom. And if we want to remember how to calculate the current, we simply cover the current up and it reminds us that we need to divide the voltage by the resistance as shown here. And if we want to calculate the resistance, we cover the resistance up and it reminds us we need to divide the voltage by the current this time as shown here. And we already know that voltage equals current times resistance. So here we have a very simple circuit made up of a power supply set to 5 volts which we then connected to a variable resistor here and then connect that on to a little lamp and then back to the power supply. At the moment the variable resistor is set to quite a high resistance and this means that only 0.05 amps are flowing through this circuit and the bulb is dim or virtually off. But now, if I lower this resistance, we can see that more current is starting to flow through the circuit. And as more current flows, the bulb is starting to get brighter. Produce that right down there. Now we've got 0.2 of an amp flowing through the circuit because of a low resistance here meaning the bulb is much brighter.